What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Gas Station Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, actually, the last episode was technically a stream. I suppose we were kind of steady grinding during the stream. What happened with Garbage Man over here? My guy, are you good? Big Joe. Big Joe, brother, is there anything at all we can do to help you out here? Anything? I mean, we could we could do the, the old reset. We might as well try that, right? We'll see the aliens for the first time. Might be kind of neat. Poor Big Joe over there, dude. What a what a tough break. There's not even anything over there that he could have, like, hit to go up on two wheels and then flip over. He must have just been taking that corner way too fast or something. So we're still closed. Uh, this will reset all the cars and customers. That is totally cool. We're going to see the spaceship for the very first time. I already kind of know about this. But uh, I haven't seen it myself. I guess that's all that happens. Okay, achievement unlocked. Aliens. Good. So we kind of needed to do that, let's be honest. Um, why is Amelie no longer resting? I did not put her on any sort of task. Maybe she's just maybe she's just done resting. She's just chilling in her trailer now. Could very well be the case. Okay, we gotta we gotta actually hold off. First, on, on opening this place up. I gotta collect my thoughts here. Trash Man definitely threw me for a loop right there, for sure. So, the last episode was technically a stream, as I mentioned. Those of you that maybe missed the stream, you can check out the 2G2 channel for any sort of stream VODs. They usually go up there a day or two after the stream has been streamed. Now, we have a ton of money, sort of. Way more money than we've had before. 2800 bucks almost 2900 bucks. So the first thing we have to do with that is of course upgrade the gas station to level 4, ladies and gents. This is where we will find Oh my god, it's a thousand bucks. Oh my god, it's a thousand bucks. This is where we're going to be able to um, eventually expand and open up the um uh, car wash in the back of the shop here. So, pretty exciting stuff. Let's uh let's take a look around. We'll see what all actually expanded. It looks like we have some more restroom stalls in here. That's good. I think this is now fully expanded. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. But, ooh. And we've got to repaint, too. This place is looking dingy, dude. Looking dingy. So we have 1800 bucks left. Um, let's see. We've got new mail, too. We don't ever really read through the mail. I, I don't think we need to do this. Day 17, though. So we went from day 10... That was uh, probably the start of the stream. Didn't really do any sort of upgrades or anything throughout that. I apologize, you guys, but we were just trying to make some bucks. Just trying to make some buku bucks. So, we it's it's been a full week now. We, we basically grinded a full week. And now we finally have a, uh, a new email here. Sorry, nephew. Nothing anyone can help with here. Good luck. Okay, now just before we go through and, you know, spend a bunch of money elsewhere, I just want to make sure that we have all of our products and things fully stocked up. We actually probably need to move this. So let's pick that shelf up and putting it back there is probably too far in the corner. Let's actually try to put everything really close together. I think that'll maybe keep the foot traffic down uh, just a little bit. And honestly, anything in that regard would be super super helpful so we're gonna place everything that we already had on here back on there and i think we are ready to rock so tobacco products oh my i i gotta stop doing that dude i gotta be more careful and click on the shelf not the products because once you pick something up as i mentioned before you can't place it back on the shelf you just have to throw it away so we've expanded now in the front of the shop as well or front of the store so we have a bunch more space over there but like i said I'm going to try to consolidate everything, keep everything nice and close. Hopefully, we don't have to clean as often then. Now, I think we're probably, I was going to say good to open things up, but we've got a phone call. Better be quick. Something dark's on the horizon. What do you mean? Oh, it's the Dust Bowl for real now. It's the Dust Bowl for real. Okay. Clean up the sand piles when the storm is over. They might cause issues otherwise. Dude, how long does the storm last? This is not good. This is not good at all. I need a screenshot of that storm rolling in, though. You never know. That that might be uh, might be thumbnail worthy. I doubt it. Okay, so where do we go, dude? Do we hold down the forts? 
I mean... Okay, so here's, here's what I'm thinking is going to happen here. The storm is just now rolling in. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. But I, I think we're just going to have a ton of sand piles here just in a few minutes. I'm going to head up to the top of the warehouse. I feel like we'll be relatively safe from things up here. But I'm thinking the storm's going to roll through. A bunch of sand's going to be deposited everywhere. We're going to take four freaking hours to go around with, uh, with Rudy and, and clean up all those sand piles. So I guess we just have to wait out the storm. Leaving the indoor areas will be... Uh, will severely limit your vision. Be careful. Do we open... Like, I don't know. Do we open the... Do we open the store? Do we just literally hang out up here? That seems kind of boring. I'll be honest. Hang on. Hang on. It's passing, dude. It's passing. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's now moving. Okay, I don't see any other big sandstorms on the horizon. Let's see how much sand has actually been deposited. The parking spaces are still cleared out. That is all looking fine and dandy. Let's see up in the front. I'm not noticing any large sand piles. So I think we're actually good, dude. I think we're actually good. That was short-lived. And, uh, and I'm glad. <laughs> Definitely glad about that. Achievement unlocked sandstorm. There we go. Restore the car wash is now our next task. It's a thousand bucks, dude. It's a thousand bucks. So we've got the garage, the workshop. We've got um, all the all the products we have inside. We still have a bunch of like shelving things we could purchase, a bunch of other things we could purchase, along with like indoor and outdoor decor. I'm not really sure which one's the most important, but I feel like if we had another outlet to you know make some more money, that would probably be the most thing or the most beneficial thing for us right now so this is gonna put us down to 800 bucks but we've got ourselves a car wash now is this gonna be way more work for us absolutely freaking lootly but hopefully like i said we'll get our money back from it fairly quickly anyways car wash is open all right sweet well that was easy i was thinking we'd have to like go through and clean up all the trash that was over here but i guess not it's just uh it's just gone okay next task is gonna be wait for a customer to arrive at the car wash I did I open the place I guess I did I don't actually remember flipping the lever funny enough um, let's let's get Amelie we're gonna need her like ASAP Lapagus okay let's see what else we can do with the car wash as well oh, okay so we have to now order water as well maybe um, let's check out the delivery we'll see if there's anything new in here doesn't look like it Un unless it's under products maybe there's car care no that's something completely different that's like shelving unit stuff okay so no idea how to get more water i guess i'm sure you know how to get a car sparkling clean grab the nozzle okay he's just telling us how to use the car wash amelie that's what we came here for um lady you've already been paid that's good that's good come handle the register for us be a deer and handle the register, please. We need you, we need you, we need you. Sir, how you doing today? You having a good day? Cool. Oh, it's Shiny Beard Man. All right, have a great day, bud. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate that. And miss, how you doing, pigtails? Feeling good today? That's good. That is good. Um, I don't know if I really want to take the time to hop in Rudy and clean up what little sand has been deposited or dispersed. I think we're probably all right. Wow, dude, that looks... I don't even... Steampunk? Retro? I, I can't figure out... I can't figure out what this thing is. Anyways, we'll, uh... Try our hand at the car wash. What the heck was that? Low pressure. Um, left shift to see dirt. Okay, so we don't actually have to clean the whole thing, I guess? I'm not really sure how this works. This is new, you guys. This is new. Hang on. Close the car wash. You can close the car wash separately from the station? Excuse no, me? No. No. Find the sewer entrance in the junkyard. What is happening? What is happening? I wasn't expecting any of this. I was not expecting any of this. Amelie, I mean, can you hold down the fort? You're our only employee. And somebody's leaving bass on the floor again. Dude, unbelievable. Unfreaking real. You'd think that... 
Okay, we might have to clean up a few sand piles after all, dude. They're getting hung up. Oh no, what a disaster. What a disaster. See this, the problem with this is this is gonna create a huge pileup for us. I mean, this lady can't go anywhere. Let's go grab Rudy. Sorry, sorry, give me a minute. I know, very inconvenient having all this sand everywhere. It's the Dust Bowl. It, it's the Dust Bowl, what do you expect? But I am very curious to check out these sewers, dude. Like, what? Why does that even exist? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. Okay, so we had two additional sort of sand piles over here. I'm gonna try to sneak just underneath this. Rudy is very tall. Rudy is way taller than most skid steers. Like, we've got like a three-story building above us here, dude. What the heck? Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, fuel canister is empty. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Real quick, I know. I know, everyone is just geeking right now. They're just freaking out. Is that it? That is it. All right, let's put that away. Hop back in, Rudy. And what was it to cool it down? Right mouse button. Gotcha. So we got a sand pit just over here. Rudy, slow down. Slow down, old girl. Easy there. Okay, right here. Come to a stop-ish. Wrong button. Come on. Okay. We've got one sand pile now cleaned up. So this lane... Uh, just in front of the fuel pump is now clear. Good God, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be this chaotic starting things off again, especially after we had done so much grinding. But it's all good. We're already back up to 1,200 bucks. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, can you dump? Thank you. All right, one more, one more load with Rudy. We'll see if we can get close enough to that sand pit because it does look like that car is like completely beached. It's not gonna go anywhere. Oh God, dude. I'm gonna try to come at it from the opposite side so maybe we can get the bucket underneath the vehicle. Looks like we might be able to squeeze under there anyways. Oh, we got a cool Rudy back down. Come on, dude. Come on, we got this. I don't wanna use the UFO right now. Yes, we can do it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's gonna get them unstuck. They can now drive away. And excuse me, sorry, sorry. Alrighty, I have definitely had enough of Rudy for today. That thing is just so gosh dang slow, dude. And I know it's got the, you know, Turbski boost on it, but it doesn't really do all that much. It's still very slow, has a horrible turning radius. As we've just learned, it's in incredibly too tall. Um, but we're gonna help these people out with fuel real quick. And then we gotta just, we gotta go to the sewers. I guess, I, I don't know, dude. Do we close the shop down? Do we send Amelie on break? We don't even have any... We do, okay, good, we do. <laughs> That's nice, that is nice. And we've got a couple mirrors as well. Let's see, good, we've also got scratch remover. Okay, well, I guess we can help you out then. We'll just go ahead and leave you up in the air so we can go deal with whatever the heck is going on back here. So car wash remaining closed, it's nice. I'll admit, it's nice that we can close off the car wash from the rest of the uh, facilities here. Because, you know, we wouldn't want it open all the time. Definitely wouldn't want that. So just over here, I guess, is where we want to be. Okie dokie, here we go. Do we have a flashlight? No. Different game. Uh, do we? No. Okay. <laughs> it's all good, dude. It's all good. This isn't terrifying in the, sl in the slightest bit. All right, suddenly, gas station sim has taken a bit of a turn. It is definitely a little bit scarier than it has been. Oh, and it looks like Dennis has been down here. That's one of his art pieces. Lovely. Okay, so we've got, we've got that. I don't know what that did. We've got another one down here that's broken. We're just gonna jump right on over that. Uh, okay. You, mm, I think whoever did that probably needs to stay in school. Let's be real. If you can't even spell school, you should probably stay there. As soon as you can spell it, though, you're free to go. Let's see, what do we, There's a door. Door is locked. Find a way to unlock the door. Okie dokie. What do we got over here? Nothing, just a, just a grate. 
Okay, this seems a little bit more promising, though, like a storage closet. And we've got another valve back in there, but it's locked behind this fence. Oh, here we go. That could be something, right? Could definitely be something. Maybe the door... Yes, dude, the light's now green. The door needs power to open. Okay. Lovely. Dude, I'm sure, like, thankfully, smell vision doesn't actually exist. Because I'm sure this would just be awful. It would just smell so incredibly bad. I'm, mm, that's a gator. That is a gator for sure, my guy. Okay, we've got to maybe time this correctly. He's gone. He's gone. We're just jumping right through there. Dear Lord, I'm going to keep going right. Um, or not. Let's maybe try the left side. I'm actually a little scared because uh, we haven't been able to die in this game yet before, but I feel like if we can, this is the place where it would happen. Do we want to go down here? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, is that a pool? What the heck is this, dude? Gustave? Gustave? I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be feeding Gustave. Left mouse button to interact. Okay, and we can't do anything with that. It looks like we've got a lot of... We feed trash. Right, I should have continued to read the thing. Throw at Gustave. Okay, we need to put a little bit of mustard behind it, though. He loves it. Feed the beast. So is he blocking the drain right now? Is that what's happening? I'm kind of scared to get close to him, honestly. Jesus Christ, dude. It's also very loud in here, so... Apologies. Uh, I can I can see the audio level. It's not peaking, per se, but it's up there. We'll be out of here in no time, okay? We just gotta finish feeding Gustave. Poor guy, he's been locked down here for God knows how long. Man. All right, two more trash bags. Gustave is about to be the happiest of clams, dude. Okay, one more, one more attempt there. We've done it. All right. Gustave, are you happy now? Are you good? Oh. Oh, I'm really scared to go near you, buddy. Really scared to go near you. Okay, we've got some rope up here and a door that leads nowhere. Um, yet. Maybe that's how we get out of here, actually. Oh, there's a door. Is that all we needed to do? Yeah, the pressure's back up, dude. All we have to do is come down here and feed Gustave, who is a gator or a crocodile, trash. And suddenly we have pressure again. Okay. I'm not sure I understand, but, uh, alrighty. So we can't go in that sewage treatment area, I guess. But this must be the way out, so we'll climb up the ladder. We'll see where this spits us out at. Right in the back. Easy access for next time. So we don't, we don't have to climb through the whole sewer system anymore. We can... I think just make our way back down there. Awesome, dude. Well, Amelie is about overworked for the day, I would say. Let's go ahead and turn the car wash back on. We uh, apparently don't have much pressure, but hopefully hopefully the next car that comes through will be a little bit better. Oh, God, dude, we've got so many customers at Fuel. Well, two of them. That's a lot, okay? Oh, she's out, dude. Mr. Ossifer, my good man. His call sign is 653. Hey, appreciate you stopping by, brother. Appreciate it. All right, Dennis? Oh, Dennis, I don't have the time for this right now, brother. Hurry up and get over here so we can throw stuff at you. Here he comes. Let's see where he goes first. Probably to a wall that we've already painted, right? Yep. And let's throw that at him. Good job, good job, good job. Second throw right here. Second throw. We've done it. He's he's just annoying. It's not difficult to deal with him so long as you always have something laying around. Like this uh, briefcase toolbox thing. But let's go finally help this customer out in the garage. Looks like they had one wheel that was bad. So we're going to pop this thing off. Pop a new one on for them. And then I think that might be all she wrote for this job. We'll see. There's probably something else, too. Nope. 
that was it. All right, nice. Oh, it's Elon. We got a customer pulling into the car wash, and it's Elon again. Tell me, Elon, tell me. I, I know you're, you know, big SpaceX guy and whatnot. You got a lot of tech on your side. I get that. Please tell me how somebody can possibly be in two places at once. Do you have a cloning machine? No. Probably not. All right, well, let's try this out. So grab the water gun, approach the car after the customer gets out of the vehicle. You can toggle the nozzles, scroll up, scroll down. Okay, I could just read that all over there. But let's try her out, dude. So that's what that nozzle does. Oh. Okay. And we can see our pressure there um, just atop the gun. Or just atop the pressure washer. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It's not near as satisfying as I was hoping it would be. But it seems like the yellow nozzle is definitely the move. For sure. Okay, so we can see more dirt. So the, like, thicker stuff, I think we have to change to the red nozzle. Yeah, that's working much better. But that, does that use more pressure? Because it's, like, a finer tip? What's going to be really annoying, though... Honestly, is seeing Elon pull back in later on in the day with a very, very dirty convertible again. I can see that happening. And then what? We just have to clean the car off another time? Seems kind of tedious if you ask me. Thanks. I guess that's all you needed. Elon, you are welcome, brother. How much did we get for that? Is the, is the car wash even worth it, dude? Is it even worth it? I really need to know. Oh my God, it's so dirty. It's so, oh Jesus, we've got it. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, we've got a whole just clan of people in here. Of course, the party bus dropping by again. We do love it when they visit, but normally it's better if Amelie is here. Let's be real. We don't usually have the time for all you guys. Is that, what is that? Oh, it's a piece of, it's just a piece of garbage. Okay, thought it was like a dead possum or something. It's a skull. That is all. Oh, no, 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 no. There's too much. I can't keep up. I actually can't keep up. We've got... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, dude. There's there's so many things. There's so many bass everywhere. Okay, hopefully that's good for now. Let's keep trying to help these customers out, dude. Amelie, you know what? Amelie's like half rested. After this customer, uh, we're going to put her back to work. First, let's go to employee. We've got to pay her, of course. She's not going to want to come back until she's paid from the first time. Now we're going to put her back on the register. Amelie, please save us, my lord. I did not... I, I had no clue. I had no clue that the party bus was going to stop by. They always stop by the best times, don't they? The best times. Now we just got to sweep, dude. It does look like, though, our, uh, our idea of, like, consolidating all these shelves definitely paid off. You can see all the all the footprints and stuff are way closer together. They're not as spread out as they once were, so job well done there. All right, that's going to have to be good enough for now. We've got a couple of customers at Fuel. Got another Ossifer here. 653 again, so it is the same officer. Just as I wanted. Just as you wanted. All right, and we got to pick up the phone, I guess, talk to Uncle again. Finally, it's over. Where was I? What do you mean it's All over? Right. I need your help. And we have to be fast about it. Little Birdie told me that someone is passing through Route 66 with quite valuable cargo. Okay. But you're not going to you know tell me what kind of car they're driving. You're not going to tell me what they look like. You're just going to tell me to start lockpicking fools. Is that really is that really what it's come to, uncle? I mean, oh, does it have a frunk? It does. All right. Well, I will do the very best I can, but we only have two lockpicks, and I'm not really sure how to get new ones. Dude, this is a beginner lock. Why am I struggling so bad? $7.13. So shady. All right, we are losing customers, dude. We got to be quick about this. We got another customer at the car wash. I, you know, I'm not... There goes the lockpick. All righty. I'm not super impressed with the car wash just yet. Maybe that's because I don't really know what I'm doing. We might have to just experiment with it a little bit longer. Okay, down to the left. Got him. 12.07. Could the cop be the person 
transporting special cargo. Maybe? Maybe? Who's to say it's not? Nope, $5.22. Okay, well, we've got two more cars over here. Or, I'm sorry, one more. Because we've already looted that hatchback. Come on. There we go. All right, five seventy nine. Got a couple more people coming in though. How many? How many people do we have to lockpick? Uh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. It does say. It does say. Hang on. We've got. We've got customers to deal with here. Sorry guys. Sorry. Oh god, dude. Everyone's so mad at us. We need some new employees, dude. We got two thousand bucks. I I'm sure we could probably afford to get some new employees. We got that trunk. Trucks don't have a trunk. Where are all the peeps at, brother? We gotta. We gotta just. You know what? Right in front of them. <laughs> oh, we can't. We can't. Okay, well, that's probably for the best. Let's try this car wash thing one more again. One mo again. All right, we're just going to be a little bit quicker about this. Maybe try to really focus on on the heavy stuff at first. And then we'll come through with the with the yellow one. The yellow tip, I mean. Ooh, actually, just keeping the cursor in one spot and moving the character side to side kind of seems like that's working pretty well. We might have to keep doing that, honestly. Okay, seems like we've got a good majority of the dirt cleaned up. Let's change caps and, uh, you know, we'll try to get this thing cleaned up the rest of the way. There we go. We'll spray off the trunk a little bit for her. You know, it's a convertible. It does look like the interior is pretty dirty, so we're going to try to spray that off for... How much are we getting for this? I didn't see it again. Again, I missed it. Okay, we've got... Um, oh, we can... Didn't know Didn't know that was a thing. Looks like we can rotate that, so that's... Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Seems like the pressure was still aight, but we've got six minutes to lockpick five more vehicles. So, trucks again, not a thing. Oh, a master trunk, you say? Oh, and we have two lockpicks again all of a sudden. All right. So maybe the way to actually get new lockpicks hasn't been implemented yet. 16 to almost $17. All right. And another master trunk. We'll see what we can do here. Looks like it's giving a little bit more. Mm, yikes. <laughs> Looks like it's giving a little bit more to the right, maybe? No, it's definitely to the left. Okay. Right there. We've done it. 25! Okay. Just a few more trunks, dude. Just a few more trunks. We can do this. We've got two lockpicks again. Another master trunk. Oh, no, she's leaving. Oh, no, she's leaving. All right, we've got a couple of customers at Fuel, though. Maybe we can lockpick their trunks right in front of their faces. That's good news for us. Bad news for them. Come on, we're real close with that. There we be, 572. All right, how many more? This is the last trunk, you guys. I didn't see if it was master or intermediate or beginner, so I'm just gonna try everything I can here. No, wow, that is a, that is a really tough one. There goes another lockpick. Oh, maybe we only get two attempts per trunk. Okay, I didn't end up finding anything of value other than the cash that we've so um, kindly taken from all these nice people. But um, apparently we just got a hundred extra bucks for doing that little side mission. So that's kind of cool that stuff like that exists. Keeps things fresh. There we be. All right, Amelie. I think you're probably good to go back on break, girl. Let's go ahead and pay her right quick. And then we will send her to her little camper. Okie dokie then. Afternoon, miss. How you doing? Got your Oreos. Nice. And you're just all about the sweets. Okay, you're a lifesaver, she says. Oh, here we go, dudes. We got a big old van over here. This should actually be a really easy vehicle to clean. And now we know we can rotate the, um, the spray nozzle there to hopefully get all this lighter stuff off of it. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, this one's a little bit more satisfying because you can actually sort of see what you're doing. Uh, let's switch tips again. Try to get this stuff that's more like caked on there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Ooh, yo, the front too. There's like certain spots of the vehicle that you definitely have to be using a certain nozzle for. 
There we go. How's our pressure? Looking good still, dude. Looking great. So I guess our pressure off the rip was just really bad. But it doesn't look like it goes down that quickly, I'll be honest. There we go. Now the back. Oh, this is good. 150! Holy cow! I knew it was going to, you know, make us some money. I didn't think it was going to make us that much money. Good God, dude. 150 bucks? We've made almost all of our money back already, dude. $2,600 sitting in the bank right now. Amelie's on break, so we're not going to, you know, be paying her or anything. That's, that's all of the money we got. That's pretty great. Actually pretty great. And it looks like we have a whole bunch more challenges to do now. That's going to take some time. Definitely going to take some time. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is probably the point where we're going to wind this episode down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.